Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Ann Makes. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. So, I needed some bags, uh, sandwich bags, freezer bags, and I got them. So these are 20 bags, sure fresh, heavy duty freezer bags. And they are seven by eight inches. So I did get that. Another thing I was on the lookout for were these mascara wands. And I got, I did find them. So you get eight pieces of these little mascara wands. And I will not be using them for mascara or makeup. Um, these are really practical for cleaning inside my sewing machine, cleaning um, between keys on the keyboard. There's little places uh, uh, where you need to clean your equipment, even the Cricut machine, to get the fluff and gunk out so your machine works longer, <laughs> works better for a longer time. Um, these are really handy for that. The other thing I picked up in the makeup is these eyeshadow applicators. These are also to be used for crafting or maybe even cleaning purposes. Like these are for cleaning my equipment. And these are, I like to use these to for inking and for applying um, pastels and chalk and even paint sometimes. In small areas so I get 20 eyeshadow applicators oh and by the way the bags I needed I ran out of bags uh, because I was using these for some storage and organizing in my craft room and I was out I also picked up these bags uh, these are not food safe. I, oh, it says they are food safe. Look at that. I didn't even realize it. Okay, these are food safe. These are the craft medley. These are in the craft aisle. You get 15 of these and they measure six by eight. So they're slightly smaller than these. Um, and I just wanted to compare for my storage if which of these would be better. For my my storage system so that's why I got that I picked up some more of the sassy and chic makeup blender sponges on the handle and I got the three different shapes that they have and I am going to store these with my pan pastels I find the sponge on this on these is very similar to the sponges that we use for uh, using pan pastels and I just thought I would put these in my pan pastel supplies. I got these two rolls of fabric. I thought they were pretty. This one seems to have a Parisian theme on there. And this one has, I think it's also Paris. It's just a different color. So, yeah, I thought these were pretty. I found these pens, little kitty cat gel pens. There, used, there was a white one, but the only white one that they had left had no cap, so I didn't buy it. But I, I use tons of pens and these write very nicely. They have a very, very, very fine point. So I like that. And it's a gel pen. And I, I th is this blue or black? No, it's black. And yeah, I think I think they're all they all write in black. Yeah, they all write in black. So they write they're very, very fine point. This is a new packaging uh, by Jot, Corner Office by Jot. Uh, you get 72 of these multi-use labels. I use a lot of labels uh, for, for organizing, storing, identifying things. So pick these up. 
this is in the teaching supplies like te this is a teaching tree product I saw these reading highlighters and there's 10 in here and I just thought this this one is uh, really helpful for someone who's learning to read for children and they have trouble focus or someone who has some learning disabilities it's, it helps to focus on the line that you need to read I also thought that this could be useful for when I am actually working on a project and I need to keep track of where I am on the project so I got that I think these are new I think they're really nice these are they're vases yeah or vases um, and they're acrylic and they're a nice they're a nice acrylic they're thick uh, they're this square they flute out a slightly I don't know if you can see that here at the top so I thought these were really nice vases um, I thought they could be maybe stacked on their side and I could use them for storage here on my desk for pens and such um, and they since they're vases um, they have also have taller ones slimmer slimmer and taller ones so but I just got uh, two like this you see they're perfect for holding my stuff that's what I got them for not to use as a vase picked up uh, two rolls of washi tape I try not to buy washi tape but this I swear I don't have one with macaroons and this was the only one in the store so I got it because I don't have anything with macaroons and I need this and then this tape I really like the splotchy color on it and so I got a few of this one and I plan to use this, this is going to be like um, an everyday use tape got a little eyeglass repair kit um, I just wanted to show you this is the kit I could I could find now in the store but this is the kit I bought earlier like a few years ago I bought this kit so I wanted to find a second one because my family uses this a lot all the time and I wanted to have a second one as a, a backup because sometimes when somebody's got it and then the other person can't find it. But look at the difference in the, the kit. So compared to the old kit, this one has one less screwdriver. It comes in a really like cheap, flimsy, much flimsier case. And it doesn't seem, does it have a magnifying glass? It has the lens cloth, two screwdrivers, um, four comfort pads, two bridge pads, pad. it has those little pads, and some screws. But it doesn't have a magnifying glass. In the original kit, there's a magnifying glass. Hmm. So this used to be a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, and now this is a dollar fifty. Hmm. A little disappointing. Picked up some more of the mailing seals by Jot. I've actually made stickers out of these. I've been a, successful in using some Stazon ink, uh, which is a permanent ink pad. And I've uh, been able to make some uh, fun see-through stickers with that. I thought these napkins were really pretty. They're in the Spring Fling collection. They look like watercolor. And uh, I think these would be lovely for making some decoupage backgrounds. And speaking of watercolor, I picked up this tissue paper, the only pack that there was at the store. Uh, I think these pastel tones are really spring-like. Again, uh, for using and crafting. 
I bought this one sheet of stickers just because of this car on here, the jalopy and the train. So and I, I know I last video, I think, I think it was last time I said, I'm not buying any more stickers. Eh. <laughs> Saw this only set of fabric gift bags. There are three in here. I thought they were really cute. The pink and that natural uh, canvas. Cute. Got some pink and some white crepe paper uh, for making some flowers and some other crafty doodads in um, my crafting. These are new. They have these balloon, they call these balloon glue, a hundred piece. So it's essentially a double-sided dot adhesive. And yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's just a dotted adhesive. So I wanted to try them on, on in crafting to see if they're any good. If they are, well, great. Got the disposable icing bags. I got one for, of these for the kitchen, um, and this one is to be used in the craft room. It's just the bags that are in here. There is no nozzle, but um, that's okay. Um, these are handy to have for using with um, like paste and being able to make uh, designs with uh, paste in mixed media. So I was not expecting this, but my store finally, finally got this pegboard stuff that everybody was hauling uh, months ago, and it just didn't show up at my store. But now it is, and now it's there. So I was pretty happy to find it. Um, I got the cup holder and the square-shaped pegboard tray. The small, the square pegboard, they got two pack, and the large uh, peg, square pegboard in white. Now, they did not have any of this, the backing clips that uh, I know are, are also sold, nor were there any hooks, but I did pick up the hooks and the clips at another Dollar Tree months ago. And that's all they had. That's all I was able to find. I wasn't able to find uh, the pegboard, so I'm happy I have that now. So there were some new cat toys at the store, um, so I got this one. And I actually got three, to uh, four, four toys all together. There's three more that I will show you in uh, some pictures in a moment. And the cat, the cats uh, just pulled them out of the bag when I got home. Was, and they were running around with them with the labels attached. It was quite funny. Um, so they liked the toys. So I got... I got this cat toy. I got two in this type with a little bell inside, and um, they 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 like this, and they also like two other toys that are crinkle. And as I said before, um, here's a picture. Here's some pictures of the actual toys, and uh, see the cat is playing with this one now. I got some more calendars. Uh, these were new at this Dollar Tree. The, this Dollar Tree didn't have calendars until 2023 calendars until this week. So it's strange. And you'd think they would be discounted, but no. Anyway, so what you, but you get two calendars uh, in a pack. You get the small calendar and the larger calendar. I got this lighthouse 
one. I got the puppies. Well, I actually, I bought two of the puppies by mistake. I wanted a cat one. Tropical beaches and sunsets. Uh, the blossoms with butterflies. And inspirational quotes and tea time. And landscapes and landscapes. So like I said, I wanted to get a, a kitten one, but I accidentally, I got a second puppy one. Well, that doesn't matter. Um, I'll still be using, and, and I use these for collage work, for, you know, as collage fodder or for images and or journals and, and that. And last but not least, I picked up this spring plastic toy. It's like <laughs> a flimsy um, slinky. And I thought the colors were really pretty. And I got this for the cats because the cats love to play with plastic springs, little ones. And I thought maybe they would like to play with, with this. If I stretch it out a bit and maybe cut it in sections, maybe they would like to play with this too. So we'll see. Wish me luck with that. Um, there's also some other stuff that I bought for the house and I will include a little clip of that here. So I picked up some handy chamois because, well, they're very handy to pick up uh, spills and messes. And we do use a lot of those in the kitchen. Other item, uh, the disposable icing bags, like I mentioned earlier, I got a box for the kitchen, a box for the craft room just very handy to have and some cleaning brushes it's always nice to refresh the brushes and um, oh this one says that they have a new new handle or something yeah and it does it's like less slippery uh, this is good for scouring the cast iron pans uh what else did i get oh yeah the little divider party plates they're just really handy to have when we have, we're serving like tacos and we put, you know, the lettuce, tomatoes also, or things like that to, you know, separate it. And, oh, this is new, uh, cafe latte, la, cafe latte mix, or there's two pouches in there. It's Lori Secord. Usually the, this stuff is pretty good. Haven't tried it yet, um, but... Uh, that's worth a try. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it and if you like it. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is new. Uh, they have these little party packs. So you get eight plates, eight napkins, eight forks. And I just thought this is so handy for those occasions where you need something like that. So that's it for uh, the Dollar Tree haul. And, oh, plus, uh, no, that's not it for the Dollar Tree haul. I did buy a caramel chocolate bar, which I don't have a video of. And I stored it in my secret hiding place. <laughs> so now that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I hope you, um, I don't know, found it fun. Maybe um, saw something you are inspired to use to get creative. And so thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.